Meow. So you... <laughs> I I had to try and get one back. <laughs> I'll always get a meow back, babe. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you even got a giggle snort. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for a well placed time for that. <laughs> I wanted to sneak uh, that in at some point this time. You can meow as much as you'd like. Okay. <laughs> You don't like his. It creeps me out. It's he's been listening to him for about an hour. I've been practicing. So, oh, dimples, will you give me a meow, please? I haven't even practiced. Drum roll, please. (laughs) I feel creepy doing it. Stare at me right in the eyes. Do it, meow. (laughs) It is pretty gross, (laughs) right? (laughs) When dude's looking at you. Yeah, you, oh. we're gonna we're gonna only have you do that from now on. Thank you. <laughs> I love you guys. You're the best. <laughs> All yeah. right. So yep. Don't no, wait. Hold on. We gotta give give one second after I stop talking, so we make sure your mic's on. Okay. Meow. There you go. <laughs> now that was phenomenal. There you go. Welcome, fellow lushes. Come on in. Pull up a bar stool and enjoy some cocktails with dimples and the beard. <laughs> It's like deja vu all over again here tonight, buddy. It is. Here we go. Who said deja vu all over again? Was that Yogi Berra? <laughs> oh, I figured you'd know that. I think it was Yogi Berra. Yeah, it was it? Producer, check that. Yogi Berra? Okay, is it Yogi? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. We should just have a fake producer. That would be funny. That way we can Google fact check ourselves and be like, nope, nope, good. Okay. So what should we name our fake producer? Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chad? Chad? Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. No? Maybe Chad would come and be our real producer. <laughs> yeah, he'll do that. You don't think he'd come three nights a week and Google search for us? Everyone? I don't think he knows how to use Google. Well, <laughs> he'd be perfect. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Google search that for us. He'd be like, I want to call our fake producer something like Tits McGee or Pussy well, Galore. Oh, well, that was taken, but I think Tits McGee was well, taken. Both of them are taken. <laughs> was there a real Tits McGee? Yeah. What so. is Tits McGee from? Because everybody says that Tits McGee, but that was it? baseball. It had something to do with baseball. Well, Deja Vu all over again has something to do with baseball. It is. Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. Thank you. And Yogi, did, did, did he say Tits McGee? Tits was McGee. that his wife? That was Yogi Bear's wife. Yeah, that was Yogi Bear's wife. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's, yeah. That's why it's all baseball. Everything all comes baseball. down to baseball. All baseball. I forgot what the fuck we were talking about. Um, Welcome back, fellow lushes. Another episode of Cocktails with Dimples and the Beard. Beard and another one. The tavern is now open. Deja vu. Turn that light a little bit. Get that a little... Let's get that right. Oh, there it is. We're in the red light district. There it is. Much better. Much better. We should go to the red light district. In Amsterdam, it would die. Did you see the? Uh, the did, you, did you see the reel I put out? Mom's up there. You see the reel I put out today for our uh, for our, this week's episode with Brittany Ann Marie. It's her talking about the stripper. Oh yes, I, well, I saw the headline. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but I saw the headline. I made sure to bleep the budget word so that YouTube didn't get mad at us. I have to formally on YouTube lighten up. I have to formally request a review for monetization for every video we put up. Every time we put a video up, it gets limited monetization. 75% of the time. Then I have to request a review. And of that, 90% of them get approved. So they're watching. They are watching. We're on the we're apparently we're on the naughty list. (laughs) So now that I actually it's, Which is it, fine. It is a, is, I'm, in, I'm kind of proud of being naughty. Yeah, and I will keep, believe I mean, me. I'd like to be on as many naughty lists as possible. Santa's, then you don't get anything. Well, that's okay. I'd rather be on the nice list for Santa. Oh, I, I'm just, I mean, mm-hmm. no one on the naughty is, you know, you are, ladies. I'm on your naughty list. Oh, you're going for the dipshit ladies who go for bad boys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm not. 
them Stop. fuckers who keep going back and back and back to the guy who steals their money. Well, and, well, I don't steal money. Well, then you're not a real bad boy. I've never stole any girls. All right. money. Well, then you're not a real bad I'll boy. All I've ever stolen was their heart. Oh, God. I wish I was. Yo, don't. Shh. See, we need a producer. You missed producer. that. God damn it, Philip. Fernando. Come on, Fernando. Double. Fernando, it is. I almost spit take this. <laughs> Fernando. Fernando. Fernando Perezuela. All right. We got a producer. Our producer. Welcome to the team, Fernando. Yes, we appreciate you. We appreciate you and we love you. Are we okay to fake a Hispanic accent to talk as Fernando? Would Fernando be Hispanic? Yes. Hispanic. Yes. I so. Can we, do you think we could do that? Like we probably aren't. We probably sh- shouldn't, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay. Is my guess. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> Even if I said yes, yeah, I wouldn't. But can I speak to him? Like, can I at least use words like underle, underle? I mean, is that okay? Or is that absolutely? I mean, I'm speaking his proper he, language, he, he, right? Speaking what he knows. Yeah. Underle, yeah, underle. It's absolutely okay. Mas, mas cerveza, por favor. <laughs> if you know, if you know how to speak it, do it. Gracias. That's what I know. When I went to Mexico, the one time in my life, all I learned was mas cerveza, por favor, and gracias. Perfect. And hola. Perfect. And uh, what's bathroom? Bathroom. No, it sounds like bathroom. Chita? Baño. Baño. Chita? <laughs> ba- baño. Baño. Yeah. So baño. you just, baño, baño. And then they tell you where the baño is. Well, that you're probably going. Yeah, yeah. Baño. Like it was, like it was last night. <laughs> oh, I made it though. <laughs> Damn it. When I, when I got out of the car. I actually prayed. And thing. twisted a little bit and went, and was like, oh. So I thought that was going to be the moment. You were driving home, and I actually said, "Please don't, don't let him make it." Well, you thought Jesus was going to take care of you. You're on yes. every naughty list. You just said, yeah, "You done fucked that up, I son." Did. I did. Yeah, I thought, but I thought he should have sense of humor. I thought he would think it's funny and be like, "Oh, okay, good should've, one." Should have prayed to the devil, <sighs> dude. Yeah, dude. You know, for every ying, there's always a yang. There's a yang. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. Man, are you gonna clean the hot tub tonight? Okay. I mean, wait. That's wait not, till after the show. That's not part of Fernando's job. It it is. Call him Fernando. His name is Fernando. Fernando. Not Fernando. <laughs> Fernando. I want tried to not. You don't pronounce. You don't not be by pronouncing <laughs> their name wrong. <laughs> hey, hey there, Fernando. Fernando. Get on over here. Well, you know, what Fernando. If, that's how it would be if he was. <laughs> no, it's Fernando, and we appreciate it's it. Fernando. But that's not his job. He's, he's the producer. He doesn't clean the hot tub. He doesn't know that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's part of it. Did you get him at Home Depot this morning? <laughs> Jump in the back of my truck. And <laughs> Does he speak English? I go over. Ah, mas cerveza, por favor. Uh, hey, I mean, one of the benefits of being the guy who has to clean the hot tub is you can go out there right now and hang with the chicks in it now. Tequila? That's how you pay him. Tequila, Fernando? I think I just did it. No, you did. I think I pushed it just a just little too far. We'll, too beep, far? we'll beep that. We, we, <laughs> we're going to beep a lot of that. Beep, beep. So after we get done beeping all this crap, um, the whole front will be the whole front, this whole section will just be beep, 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 beep. you'll be ah, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. We just created a masterpiece, masterpiece, masterpiece. And when you have a masterpiece, you're gonna want to share that. You're gonna give us a little like, you're gonna give us a share. I don't, you know, and then put put in the comments, comment to us tonight. The feline fond- fondler, it'll make sense coming up, yeah. <laughs> And please comment if that's disturbing. Meow. How disturbing that is. On a scale of one to ten. How disturbing is when I go. Meow. They'll understand. They'll understand later. As long as they've made it this part. I probably just screwed it for Kitty Kristen right there. Everybody who was gonna watch to that part is like the hot girl coming on shortly. Come on. You just gotta get through the BS to get there. Smoking out. Yes. Smoking hot. Yeah. Kitty Kristen coming up. I'll get. We are just excited to have her to discuss her. We've had a, we've had a string of, um, 
fun. I mean, not yeah, you know, a lot of fun. Yeah, we've had a, we've had a string of a lot of fun guests here lately. I'm sure this one will be just the same. I have a good feeling for I some can, reason. It's can you feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. You can feel it all the way down in your kitty. I can feel it in my loins for sure. Oh, look at that. Let's not ever keep a pretty lady waiting. Meow. Without further ado, meow. Meow. Kitty Kristen. Here we go. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fantastic tonight. Mid- and yourself? I'm really great. Thank I'm, you. I'm already in love with the room because I want to play Ms. Pac Man. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Tournament. Yeah. Yes. You... Is that new? Um, I've had it for a while. Yeah. I'm not a pro yet, but <laughs> I'm not going to brag or anything, but sometimes I can get to the banana level. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us, Kitty Kristen. It's good to okay. talk to you. Good to see you. Do you ever play strip, Miss Pac-Man? <clears throat> With like no, a party that, guest, that that is a that's a really good idea. I have started out kind of my TikTok lives doing playing Miss Pac Man. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, nice. that's got people to stop and you know kind of wonder what we're all doing. Yeah, that's a good draw. That's <laughs> I mean that's that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, just saying. You, you gotta have a, you gotta have a hook sometimes for TikTok Live or any of these live streams. I suppose. I mean. People come and go and in and out of them so much that if you, you need something that's going to keep them locked in right away. Yeah, it's not always a pretty girl, huh? I was going to actually going to say, I think she keeps them locked in pretty good. She could just stand there quiet and I, fu- them I fully understand that. However, if you've ever scrolled through Instagram live, just stop. <laughs> just stop right now. They, they're all pretty. It's just. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. So <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the show and your cute outfit. Um, is that it? It's a nice chair. Nope. Nope. There you go. That's much better. Oh, geez. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're trying to see the chair. Well, that's, yeah. that was my excuse. All right. right. That is a... <laughs> to look at glorious long legs. All right. Okay. We're, we yeah. begin oh, my... ogling and ogling and boggling. You're had embarrassing little, yourself. Had right a little now. too much tequila already tonight. <laughs> Um, what do you are you indulging in anything tonight? You know what I do have. I do have a bottle. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I can't, I mean, I got this, so yeah. uh, I can only do so much damage, but <laughs> I'm not much of a drinker, but uh, I do smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. Okay. So before you came on a little bit and they're gonna Yeah, yeah. I smoked a little bit, but I smoke all day long. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, so but I did do a little extra before I came on. And <laughs> I gotta talk to I, these two guys. I need a little extra. <laughs> and I may have or may not have microdosed a little bit of shrooms. Oh, oh. perfect. Well, you are ready to go then. <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, what is your preference when you said all day long? How does how do you decide? Is it a different blend each day or do you have a favorite? I do have some favorite strains. Yes. Um, I love like Blue Dream um, and uh, Durban Poison. Another one of my favorites. I like a lot of the banana strains. I like a lot of the sativas, the happy weeds, right? Um, But sometimes you just got to smoke what you got, right? (laughs) Yeah, I'm I'm fully on board with you. I, I can't smoke indica. It's just not. I need sativa. So I, I don't, I mean, I just don't get the indica thing. Like I don't, I, I, I want to use it to uh, get upbeat and happy and <laughs> I can I sleep just fine. So <laughs> some people really like the indicas that they have. Yeah. A <clears throat> that one works great for them. Yeah, but for sure. You experiment a little bit, try and find the right strain that works for you and, and kind of know what you're looking for too with it. Yeah. What kind of feeling you want at the end of it. Absolutely. You sound like now remind me how when did you start smoking weed oh goodness i am late in the game i didn't smoke weed and i'm until i was 42 years old okay 
I grew up in a small town and I never really even was introduced to weed, never saw it. It was never at the parties that I was at anyway. Yeah. You know, got married, had a family, and we were on um on a vacation in Mexico, walking on the beach, and um this older man passed us and he asked us if we wanted some ganja. And my husband politely declined. And as we were walking away, I was like, babe, what did he say? And he goes, he asked if we wanted any ganja. And I was like, yeah, but what is that? Wow. And he's like, babe, that's weed. And I just couldn't believe it. I was like, you can buy weed on the beach here in Mexico. Well, we better do that. <laughs> right? When in Rome. <laughs> so not being around it, though, what made you just, let's buy it? today's well, the day we kind of were around it a lot because we started attending a reggae music festival That'll in mexico it. every year called closer to the sun it's hosted by slightly stupid and a lot of the reggae bands um um go and perform and so our second year there you know after we had met all these people i mean reggae people are stoner people right and stoners maybe maybe yeah, right <laughs> Stoners are the best. Stoners are the best. Some of the people, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. find each other too. And oh, that's for sure. For that, because there's a wonderful um, 420 community on Instagram. Oh, sure. Yeah. Is there a, we, is there is there an Instagram page for that that you're? Well, <laughs> we can smoke weed on Instagram lives, and yeah, we just I think around the 420 times if you just popped on instagram you're gonna join a lot of stoner lives oh i got you i got you i thought you meant like a group like a group page that was right. like 420 enthusiasts or something oh i bet there are those but no these are just like stoner people just kind of coming together we've all got our i got a little stoner babe group that i love to smoke weed with <laughs> every afternoon at 420 live on instagram just about i try, I try to <laughs> I was gonna say if, if anybody follows you, they wouldn't they they know that you're you're busy. You're uh you're present a lot on Instagram and oh, absolutely live yeah. a lot. I I see I mean you must go live just about every day at some point, huh? I do love to go live between Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. Been able to um very much lately, but um I'm back home now and I have more time for a lot more to for my business. So I will be going live a, a lot more. And I like that because then my followers, my fans, they get to know me and my personality. Yeah. And well, not that, that's be Kristen in their life, I think. <laughs> and I think yeah, I think, that's for sure. I we're think that's the big have, draw. We're happy to have you in our life. <laughs> <laughs> so let's so your business, yes. That your business obviously is not uh, nine to five. Now it used to be. It used to be nine to five. Very so much. You're, all right, so walk us through. Small town, went to college. Went to college went for what? Where? No, nope, don't yeah. care where. <laughs> don't care where. <laughs> well, um, I'll say that you know, my my last career was about twenty two years long. It started in occupational therapy, and I did that for about eight years in our um, organization. And then a man a management position became available in our extended care facility, that's long-term care. And everybody was like, oh, you'd be perfect for it. You'd be so great for it. And they were right. <laughs> I was, I was, I was pretty darn awesome. <laughs> darn awesome at that job. And I did that job for 22 years. Wow, and, wow. Yeah. So you, you obviously enjoyed it. I did, I did. A lot of people um, don't know this about me, but um, <clears throat> I do have, um, certifications in dementia care. I'm really good with people who. Uh, oh, nice. Well, I'm going to yeah. keep that in mind when it, it strikes me later on in life. <laughs> I'll give you a call. I'll wheel them. I'll wheel them your way. Please do. <laughs> I, sometimes my heart aches because I want to talk to somebody with dementia. That was just my life for so long. Mm. Meow. So you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to try and get one back. <laughs> I'll always get a me out back, babe. Yeah. <sighs> you even got a giggle snort. <laughs> I was just waiting for a well-placed 
time for that. I wanted to sneak uh, that in at some point this time. You can me out as much as you'd like. Okay. <laughs> you don't like his it creeps me out. It's he's been listening to him for about an hour. I've been practicing. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, dimples, will you give me a meow? Please. I haven't even practiced. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I, don't, I feel creepy doing it. Stare at me right in the eyes. Do it. Meow. <laughs> it is pretty gross. <laughs> right? When <laughs> dudes looking at you. <laughs> yeah, you, oh. we're gonna we're gonna only have you do that from now on. Thank you. <laughs> I love you guys. You're the best. <laughs> All yeah. right. So, yep. Nope. Wait. Hold on. We gotta give give one second after I stop talking, so we make sure your mic's on. Okay. Meow. There you go. <laughs> no, that was phenomenal. There you go. That's better. That's much better than either one of us. But oh. I mean, oh yeah. All right. <laughs> yes, and people can get um, plenty of meows by following you, subscribing to you. Well, yeah. we didn't get to this. I jumped ahead. I jumped you ahead. Did. You're in the corporate world. world. You're moving along. Enjoying your, your job. Yes. We're discovering marijuana. <laughs> okay. So, and prior to, <laughs> and prior to marijuana, did you did you drink prior to that? Uh, you know what? I've never really been much of a drinker. Okay. Honestly. I mean, I mean, I you know, this I'm this type of drunk. I'm like really, really happy, and then I'm really, really asleep. <laughs> and you know when those two things are going to happen. <laughs> so, but weed, I'm just, it's just a perfect balance for me. So we, you don't, and keep, after, you, excuse don't keep, me? you don't keep a gorgeous body like that when you drink a lot. That's another problem with drinking. So you can do, you can do all of this that you want and never get fat. <laughs> I mean, unless you get the munchies. <laughs> well, I got that. Okay. So you discovered, you discovered weed and you're exploring is that was that opening your mind to um your sex life being a little better or opening up to different things oh gosh well i think that just uh, being high opens up yeah it, it, like just like when you're high eating tastes a little bit better you know doing something boring is a little bit more fun having sex is incredible right <laughs> so yeah so i started opening up this different side started getting a little bit sexier my husband started taking pictures mm -hmm. and like we should do something with this so we decided to start an instagram page and honestly when we started it i thought it was going to be more about marijuana i thought it was going to be more about weed and cannabis because we were growing um we live mm -hmm. in a small community and because of the weed and and the sexiness I only showed like my face, my nose down. That's right. Yep. And as my Instagram page grew, people started, my followers were commenting, do you have an OF? Do you have an OnlyFans? And I had to ask my husband, I was like, babe, what does that mean when they say that? And he said, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to his phone and delete, delete, delete. <laughs> well, so let's watch a video. <laughs> we watched this YouTube video and it was a creator who was telling you how to be successful in the hmm. only dance business. And as I was watching it, I really didn't think that it would ever really apply to me. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a side hustle. I'd make some money for some lingerie. I'd make some money for maybe a vacation here or there. But I never thought that like it could be my full-time job, that my husband could quit his job full-time and yeah. we could stay do this. Um, th so that it's, it's wonderful. It's working out, but yeah, so well, it so it, yeah, go ahead. I, I got this Instagram sexy only fans life. And then I've got this corporate life, this public life. I'm the right. face of the organization. And one morning I did decide, I was like, I should just reveal my face on Instagram. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> and I, did. I just, I, and it was that, it was that innocent. That I was like, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> and at that moment, I really changed our lives. I didn't know it. Our accounts went bananas. We'll put and the face to the body. Right. Yeah, that, that ups it's, the game. It does. It's huge. You don't you don't see any big Instagram accounts where they're not showing face. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's just. 
it's nice to see. It's like, yeah, it's, nice it, it's more it, personal, it, right? It does. It's yeah, you're right. It's more personal. Yeah. So after what? a month, I filled my face and accounts were going crazy. I really did feel like, oh my gosh, I might get found out. Somebody mm-hmm. from our community is going to find me. And at this point, I was like seriously only taking pictures like 15 minutes before work or on my lunch hour, making content, you know, but, and I was already making a month what I was, you know, what I was making at this place, I was already making it double, right? I was already making it double on OnlyFans. So it just seemed the right thing. But because I was part of management, yeah. I had to get four weeks notice, four weeks that's a lot. That's a lot of time. Once you're out there, four weeks. It must have. It must have felt like an eternity waiting for those four <laughs> weeks to be over. It did. I held my breath, and um, I didn't quite make it. <laughs> Two mm. weeks that resignation. Um, our CEO, our manager, our administrator, excuse me, um, came down to talk to me and told me that the board members had called her, and I just had to stop her and tell her, you know, I can't talk about this and do you want to clean out your, my office or should I, mm. And you know, she did give me a, she did give me an out. I was there for 22 years and she just accepted my resignation That's right nice. there. And yeah. And I do appreciate that. Yeah, I sure. did. <clears throat> did you get a lot of, uh, uh, I'm trying to think like people you work with are like, I, I can't believe you did that or that that's so unlike you or, you Gosh. know, they just anticipated I mean, I get it. I get it. It probably did blow people's minds, right? You know, they were like, mm-hmm. I can't, you know, th- that she could do this. And I'm sure some people were like, I've always wanted to see her naked. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Probably everybody in the building. <laughs> Just going to say. <laughs> Including your your boss, CEO. <laughs> she wanted to see you naked too. Thousand percent. <laughs> Thousand percent. <laughs> It was, it was hard. A lot of friendships ended. Mm. Um, A lot of people didn't know what to say to us and people treated me differently. I mean, they thought that because I was okay with have, you know, having sex and, you know, putting it on an adult website for a subscription pay that obviously I would have sex with everybody. So men thought that because I, do this, I'd have sex with any man. So I got a lot. It was horrible in our community for a while. The the offers, the oh. message. The stigma that that the OnlyFans brings, which it's it's right. Not. And it if it was true, right? I mean, and rumors just really, really escalated too to the point where they called child protective services. And our son was interviewed at school. Oh, oh my gosh, that's all. Ho- that's horrible. Have you have you have you thought at all about moving? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, our ties to the community are getting smaller. Um. So yes, we are. Can yes, we are looking to move. Yeah, we do it's... have ties within the community, and as long as those are still here, um, I believe we'll always have a home, a house here. But yeah, we're, we're definitely looking to move other places. It's, yeah. we live on, we live um, in a rural, rural community in a rural setting. So we do have to drive to buy our groceries because we can't drive our, buy our groceries in town. Um, and the, and the discrimination, um, it didn't just affect me and my, my kids. It affected my husband too. You know, they wanted to investigate him at his job. Jeez. for for what i don't that doesn't make sense to me they um you know they got some complaints the same thing they thought because oh my gosh he'll let his wife have sex on the internet well then he'll have sex with anybody too and what if he wants to have sex with me <laughs> why does it I, why does it always come to that or is like what if they want to have sex with me or like i'm, I'm not awesome don't. enough they don't. Yeah, they don't. i'm good i'm good <laughs> well, you know, I just want to throw this out there because it's, I mean, the pages, you pay for it to go to it. So all the people that don't like it, don't pay for it. Don't go watch it. Get on with your life. Um, it, to your point, you have a paid subscription and you're paying, people are paying to see you and only you. 
not touch you, just watch you. Right, right. And and it's the parts that I want to show them. That's the wonderful thing about being a creator for OnlyFans is that like I'm the boss of everything. Mm -hmm. Um, Content, I do it where I feel comfortable. I only do what I feel comfortable doing, you know. So that's what's I, I that's what I love about being an OnlyFans creator, you know. Yeah. I, so I get to decide what you get to see. Yeah. That's good that. And I do think, you know, I mean, as we get further and further down the road, like 10 years from now, people that do OnlyFans are going to be aren't going to be looked at any differently than anybody else because I mean, so many people are doing it and for various reasons and you know, if I could make that much money and do it, I mean, I'd be doing it too. Believe me. <laughs> oh man, it's the best life. Yeah, I, I am living my best life. I am. I'm having a blast. I'm meeting genuine people. Um, the other creators that I'm meeting, I'm learning things from, and I'm becoming a better creator myself. Uh, and and I get to meet great people like you too. Oh, well, wow. and you do some sexy hot collabs, and I have to ask you because I know you collab with um, CA Unicorn. Yes, yes. What's what happened to her ass today? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a question. So, I, I, well, I saw a picture on Instagram. Her ass is bruised. <laughs> that um, is that you're doing? Uh, no, 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 no. But I. <laughs> I'm going to go on a sexy collab with um, CA Unicorn next month. We're meeting up in California. I can't wait. And I will take care of those sweet little tushies. Don't yeah. worry. She's going to need I, a nice massage. Yes. But Amy is, um, <laughs> oh, she is so amazing. And if you guys get a chance to interview her, you really should. Because like she'll make you be a better human. Yeah. She, you just won't believe the kindness that that woman has. But um, she, and with that, just as kind as she is, man, she can take a slap on the ass like no other, and she fucking loves it. And I really believe that she like that pain to her is just stimulating, and it just feels, you know, there's this adrenaline rush where I'm like, "Fuck, babe, that hurt." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little lighter, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pansy when it comes to that too. I don't know if I can say pansy. Well, you are one. So, <laughs> probably just got myself canceled. Which is the nice, uh, the nice thing is that all the collaborations you've been doing. Um, new one with Miss Joy. I was mm. the in. She looks woo, incredible. <laughs> How fun was that collaboration? Oh my goodness! I just got back from that collab, um, and I, it was the first time I'd ever met Miss Joy. Oh, she's so fun to work with. And we're releasing our video tomorrow. Yes. It's called Mama Approved. Ooh, nice. Just... <laughs> How fun is that to come up with the, you know, the taglines and the things like that? I, I will tell you that um, actually at the end of the video, I tell her that she's Mama Approved. It was all spontaneous, everything that we did. And that just came out. I was like, you are Mama Approved. Mm. That became the yeah. for our um, new film. It's awesome. Sometimes it just writes itself, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. When that, I mean, you're always looking for us in the podcast. You know, you're always looking for that one line that just not to be a perfect title for the episode. That comes out, you know, that's the title. <laughs> and it's it's everything it says it is. Just in that, you can just let your mind go with it. And, oh, I have. It's a great one. I want to see it. Put your pants back on. <laughs> <laughs> not you we, we are fine. You're good <laughs> um <laughs> i want to just kind of i want to just i almost forgot to ask this before um before the only fans came out for work were you worried about your the, the the pot and everything with with your job yeah i was worried about it uh, yeah of course yeah that was part of it too i didn't want people to know that you know we were into weed because where we live it is still really kind of taboo yeah kind of pro and not yeah. a lot of people are um, doing it and if they are doing it they're not saying they're doing it right sadly we're in we're in the same spot we're in wisconsin and it's not legal so it's all over the place but you can't talk about it to the people that 
you know, employ you. <laughs> <laughs> Even exactly. though I do. Even oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't hide it. So um okay, so you but you were doing the Instagram with uh collaborations with marijuana, but was is that what made you kind of hide your face as well or I didn't really do any, um, I did like some Instagram posts with, you know, some, some bong tokes and some sexy stuff like that. Only fans has a very strict, no drug policy. And within that is marijuana. Mm -hmm. Can't use any kind of, not no weed on, in, on, um, only fans at all, but it was, yeah, hiding my face was more because of the sexiness and because of, because of the weed at first, I had no idea what only fans was. Sure. Yeah, the Instagram. Yeah, that's what I was. Wait, so on so on OnlyFans, you can you can fist somebody, but you can't smoke a joint. Dude, it is so crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so I'm not one of those women that'll just stick anything in any hole because that they think that's sexy. I'm not that kind of woman. Yeah. But there are some creators out there that do stick things in every hole, yeah. and so only. They have to come up with a rule that you can only put sex toys and fingers in your vagina. You can't put anything else because girls were creators were getting just crazy with sticking stuff in their in their hoo ha. Yeah, we we talked wow. to a we talked to a, a woman who had, she was a mechanic, mechanic and yeah. she got fired for having an OnlyFans account. And on her OnlyFans account, she was using her tools on herself, and they got booted. So she puts that stuff on Fansly. So, oh, Fansly allows for that. Oh, that's that. No, but I don't. You don't, don't do. Yeah. Like you said, you you decide what you do, what yeah. you put out. Yeah. So, but I'd imagine interacting with your fans, you get some some requests that maybe. <laughs> do you do customs? I am starting to do customs again. Um, I have a really long list, but. Um, <laughs> things are changing i'm getting um a little bit more time and a little bit more privacy where i'll be able to um offer customs i've just started offering sexting Ooh. Yeah. okay yep <laughs> that's a that you should be offering that <laughs> just that just i just need that sound <laughs> that should be your ringtone Jeez. right what are we talking about customs Customs, customs. That's right. Yes, yes. I do get some crazy requests for customs, and and sometimes I like, dude, like I don't even think that's possible. The <laughs> thing, like, I know that's your fantasy, but I just don't think I could physically do those things. I'm I always. So, so yeah, so somebody asks you a weird request, then of course you're, um, you respond to all your requests, or do you do a weird ones? Do you respond and say no, or do you just ignore them? Oh, I, you know what, if they are on my VIP um, OnlyFans page, I answer all my messages. So I'll respond no matter what. But I do only respond on that VIP page. Okay. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a trick to it. Just be a really good podcast, and then she'll answer your message on. <laughs> <laughs> I did get your um, promotional t-shirt, by the way. Yes. I took some pictures in it for you at my last collab, so I can send those for you. Awesome. And I would do a post, a col collaboration post. We can work that out for you guys, too. Cool. Thank oh, that'd you. be awesome. And we are definitely going to be in contact with I, I've been we're, we're really booked up right now. It's crazy. But um, I've been going to message CA Unicorn because following along and and I think uh, what's Miss is it Miss Joy? I think Ms. she'll Joy. be added to the list as well. I think so, too. Because <laughs> I yeah i'm just picturing you in the in our t-shirt i don't know something about that i really enjoy yeah 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 i mean if you're ever having like a 10 girl collab and you need a bunch of tank tops you just let us know we'll provide absolutely you know, we are doing a big collab in denver we can definitely i can talk to you guys about that with all the girls that that, that would be fantastic absolutely we will <laughs> Help, help along as best we can. Yes, we will. <laughs> um, and I, I think, um, I, hopefully I know the answer, but with the, you're talking to your fans mm -hmm. and you get some weird requests, but I think another stigma is that there's all these creepy old people that are asking these weird things. 
Have you had any bad experiences with any of your fans talking to them? Have I had, will you ask me that question in a different way? Have you, has there anybody like been anybody hostile towards you by saying you by saying no, or won't leave you alone or something? And I, and, and. Oh gosh, no, no. So okay. I, I just, I just have the best fans. I do. <laughs> I believe that if you treat people with kindness, you know, you, you generally get that back. Yeah. So I try to judge. So if somebody does send me a crazy re- request and it's not something that I might feel comfortable with, I mean, I don't want to poo poo that. I mean, that might be somebody's fantasy, right? So I never try to judge. And if I'm kind, I usually get kindness back. It's, it's funny because we, you know, the only fans that we've talked to, we hear the same thing. Like they get the, they get mean messages on Instagram where people can get to them for free. But somebody who is invested in you and they've chosen you to spend money on what what behooves them to come and be rude to you and your messages like it doesn't make sense. So I'm sure everybody's a little more gentleman like. Well, and it's kind of an honor too. like, OK, so he's got this fantasy and these are all the things in it. And he wants me. I'm the creator that, you know, he wants yeah. me to. So some things I'm comfortable with, some things I'm not, like I said, but there's always room for negotiation. Oh, okay. All right. Good to put out there. Who's got a birthday come? Oh, I got a birthday coming up first. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> are there any requests that you they'd say and you're like, ooh, I love that. That's one I'm gonna really, really enjoy because I enjoy. I think um this video that I'm releasing tomorrow with Miss Joy is um a video that a lot of you you haven't seen me like this before mm-hmm. i I'm, I'm usually pretty submissive um but with this with miss joy and mama approved i did get to be more dominant and oh my goodness i liked it i didn't know i had a lot of that in me because i've always been more submissive and more of a pleaser but in this case, I had to be a little bit more dominant and I liked it. It was fun. And I was really sexy too. I'm <laughs> sure you were. And I think the key like to all of that stuff is you get with somebody who makes you comfortable yeah. in that role. And then you can find that role. It's when you get some with somebody who's like, what the fuck are you doing? That like, that just ruins it forever. Right. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> and I so just you- try to go and be open with everything I do. Yeah. So was that talked about prior with Miss Joy or did it just kind of come out and what, what, what? Okay. So I'll tell you the little scenario. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it did. And we did talk about it while we were in the hot tub. So you can have those visuals of me and Miss Joy in the hot tub talking about the porn that we're going to make the next day. Okay. okay. Put your hands back on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. So um, Miss Joy uh, is coming over to my house to see my son who is her boyfriend but my son isn't home and so I invite her to come sit on the couch with me because I need to talk to her about a few things and make sure you know um, she's getting everything she needs as a woman so we progress from there from her son okay got it got it (laughs) I love I think you can use your imagination for the rest (laughs) for now until tomorrow (laughs) So you talked about it the night before. Mm -hmm. So you had all night to think about it. Mm -hmm. And then something, once you guys were together, something opened up in you that you got dominant. Yeah. Like I, yeah, something did just, I just, she was really easy to work with. um, And it felt really natural. And I, I was just being the mama. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, it was, it, natural it was really spontaneous everything we did um and we did it outside in a port so it's just beautiful scenery and if you listen you can hear a little in between like moans of joy and ecstasy you can hear like birds chirping and it's just a great 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 production yeah and and she's pretty pretty darn hot as well Mm -hmm. so it it would be very easy to lose yourself in her as her to lose herself in you. <laughs> we did. It was fun. Awesome. And we're very 
it too. And we are planning part two. We are both going to be in Denver for um, the next big collab. So we are already planning part two. Nice. Nice. So how do you, if you see someone you like, how do you hook up with them? How do you, do you just start talking and see if they want to collab or do a mutual friend? How does that work? I, you know, um, there is like a network um, behind the scenes hmm. on Instagram of content creators, beautiful women. We've all networked together um, because we, we promote each other, you know, we need each other. And so there's friendships that are, are made behind the scenes too. And um, one of my good friends is hot nurse Jess. Uh, she's down in Florida. She had done a collab or was at a collab with um, Miss Joy told me that you guys kind of live around the same area. Maybe you should um, hook up. And we did, we met, we met another creator too, Mountain Mermaid. There is, yeah, some content coming out with her too. So I got lots of Lots of things in the books prior to your only fans. Did you experiment with, with women early on in your, your age? No, I'm not really not. Even if I, I never really even had a chance or an opportunity. Um, I'll say that there's always been maybe a little curiosity, hmm. you know, through this. Um, I've been able to, um, what's the word? Uh, satisfy mm. <laughs> curiosity along with a lot more yeah I just like I said I just try to be open with everything yeah. and with that just it, I think that creates the most genuine content so was your first time with a woman as part of your content uh no no that wasn't okay. that was a, a whole different experience but um I, uh, one of my next times, I'll say my second time was with making content with nurse Jess. Okay. Nice. You get to test the waters first. Right. I'm curious when you guys do these, these collabs, do you just release them on everybody's only fans? That's part of it. And the money goes to whoever happens to whoever, you know, whoever happens to get the viewer or are there groups of you kind of grouped together? Um, I, I think this is how most people do it, but I'll tell you how Miss Joy and I are doing it. Um, so we both, we created this, um, this content together and tomorrow she'll sell it to her subs and I'll sell it to my subs. And we just release the same price. You know, we're not out there trying to, you know, I, I get this one, you get that one. It's nothing like that. And that's why these collabs are too. I've, I've learned that um, just like, with Instagram and the sharing and the promoting the content creators on OnlyFans, we're coming together too, because we need to make content together, right? Yeah. We need, we need content for you guys. Thank so you. I spent three days in the mountain with mountains with Miss Joy and Mountain Mermaid, and we make content for all of our platforms. Yeah. You know, we just busted them out. It was wonderful. <laughs> I, I love how you guys, how the, how the only fans community has come together. I, you know, the only fans models that we've talked to, yes. I'll say the same thing. And I've said the same thing over and over again. I wish the, the small podcasts like ours, I wish we were the same in that we all helped each other, but it's more, it feels more competition in the more. podcast world. Nobody's going to promote the other podcast. So you guys got, you guys are doing it right. It's paying yeah. off. Oh, right. And I do believe in promoting um, my friends and other women, I'm always going to be that, that person that um, if, if you're looking at me, you might as well look at my friends too. Yeah, really? I have on my website called All My Pretty Kitties, where I promote um, a lot of my friends, a lot of Instagram models, only, only fans creators. Because like I said, if you're coming there anyway to look at me, you might as well look at my friends. I figure there's enough horny dudes for everyone. Amen. <laughs> you will never no no uh, words have ever been yeah. said. <laughs> now, when you're three three nights in the mountain with Miss Joy, are you guys uh, breaking out the bong as well throughout the evening before you film, or do you want to go into do it sober? <laughs> Miss Joy, um, she didn't um, partake in any of the four twenty, and she didn't really drink or anything like that. Oh gosh, you guys are just gonna love her. She's just the sweetest little thing ever. <laughs> oh. 
so kind and so sweet. Um, no, but lots of giggling, lots of touching, lots of hugging. And she smells well. Her hair is so, oh, it smells so pretty. Oh, that's a thing. It, it, well, I, that is a big thing. Everything's a thing. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, everything's a thing. Um, okay, well, and that's what you work on. So the micro dosing, obviously, that's picked up over the that you didn't do that right away in Mexico, did you? No. Did so, not, so you just kind of like your sex life, you expanded more and more. So you, you expanded in the micro dosing as well. And when did that start? Gosh, you know what? Started in Mexico too. <laughs> that damn Mexico. Now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> now we're done. It's a joke. It was a joke. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That, the first time I did weed was in Mexico. The first time I did shrooms was in Mexico. The first time I did MDMA was in Mexico. <laughs> the first time I, no, never mind. <laughs> uh, um, have, hmm. have you macro dosed on mushrooms or just micro dosed? Have you, have you done, d done the full thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes I take, yeah. The micro dose a little bit far to the macro dose and we, take it a little bit further than the medication yeah it goes further than even recreational sometimes but yeah <laughs> well it's, it seems like you're just comfortable in mexico that that you can let loose and it's who you're with as well you know right? absolutely i totally believe that the last time i was in mexico um okay i'm gonna tell you this shroom story okay yes <laughs> <laughs> nurse jess was like I want to do shrooms. And I said, okay. And I, I've done shrooms before. So I'm like, uh, for every shroom you take, I'm going to do two shrooms for that. Cause I want to have, two, I want to have more fun. Right. That's how Kitty Kristen does it in Mexico. So we roomed all day long. We we're in the pool. There's music. There's, they even like shot bubbles in the, it was awesome for being on shrooms. Music. Are you sure they shot bubbles or were they just the <laughs> I, I think they were bubbles. I think they were yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. We had a great time in that environment. And then we went back to our hotel room and it was quiet and there was no stimulation. And I was like, okay, I'm tired and I don't want to be on shrooms anymore. <laughs> My husband was like, babe, you took a lot. And you probably got a little bit more time. So why don't you just go take a shower and relax? But yeah, so it is, it is a lot of like who you're with and what you're doing. And, and that does determine like how, yeah, what kind of trip you're going to have. Definitely. I'm, uh, I, I'm forcing him to do mushrooms for the first time for me. I, I turned 50 in August and I'm forcing him to, to take the mushroom trip. Oh gosh. Oh, congratulations. What? Awesome. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Go ahead. He's not, he's okay. not ex as excited as you are. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. I really, really am. And do it together, you know, and have fun because that's the way it was meant to be taken. It was meant to be taken with friends, have fun. Don't go into it with a, a lot of expectations. Go into it with just like, um, we're gonna have a great night and you will laugh a little laughing will come a little bit easier and you'll laugh a lot more and pretty everything's a little bit softer and a little bit fuzzier around the edges i am really excited for you i am i hope you take that experience wow. and you just fun with it um i i i have found that milfs in all my co-abs man milfs love shrooms <laughs> Wow. Okay. We, I think we just found the title of the like, episode. Yeah. Mills love shrooms. 100%. I found a new angle. <laughs> I've introduced quite a few mills to shrooms and see a unicorn. She is one of those that um, um, I've got to do shrooms with. We've had just a blast listening to music, may, um, taking pictures, making content. And she tells me, she was like, I did it with my best friend and we laughed and we cried and we joked and we just had the best time. And I'm like, that's what it's meant for. Sure. It really. Have you ever had a bad experience on mushrooms? I have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm, um, I won't say it was a bad experience. I will say it was more like I had some stuff I probably had to think about. And at that time, 
you know, the shrooms were saying, you should probably think about this. You should probably work through it. And I've always taken those experiences too and really tried to look at that. Like, okay, this is my chance. This is my chance to sort through this because I believe that a lot of people do have trauma Mm -hmm. and it comes up in lots of different ways, right? And the shrooms and it, it can help you process some of that. Yeah. So I've heard, yeah. Out. So that's you have to go into it with an open mind and and be aware of that. Have some self-awareness. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and I'm I'm with you. Open mind, but it to me it was always came down to how do I feel at the night, at the time. And if there was mm-hmm. something that I was like, boy, it's not right, something's bothering me, I, I don't think that would be a good I, I it's an indication not to. Yeah, shrooms are a drug that you do abort if yeah, if you're yeah. not in the right mindset, you right. you say, yeah, we'll save it for the next time. But but that's that was that's my mindset right now. But it would have to be 100 uh, percent open mind, which I'm okay with. And if anything, whatever happens, you just I, I'm just a big one is it will pass. Just just write it out, no matter how you know how freaky or bad it, something is, it will be done. You know not- what. You're going to be with this guy right here, this bearded guy. <laughs> I love your beard, by the way. I would freaking, I would love my, rub my fingers to your beard. I would love that. I love it when my, I have a young daughter and I love it when she, she gets in there and just like, <laughs> it's the cutest thing. <laughs> my weakness, but you did, but back to the shroom experience, this guy right here, he's just gonna, he's going to be with you the whole time and you're just going to have a blast. Right. I know it. Right. Absolutely. Um, but I would hope that if you were here and you did get into his beard, then your domination would come out and you would really, really get a yank on him. And that's my little, Wait, do that's we, my little fantasy. I, I, I'm assuming that what you're trying to make up here is that I don't enjoy it. So you're thinking she turns down on my beard and I'm going to be like, knock it off. Something. Nope. I want it to hurt. I want it to hurt. I like it when it hurts. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> give me that. Just give me something. Okay. <laughs> there is nothing this beautiful woman could be doing to me that you could be like, do this. And I'm be like, fuck you. <laughs> Unless she's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do then. Uh, so we'll see. Okay. We'll see how the night goes. We'll see. We'll see. Well, that's one I percent my my mindset. Look, here's the thing. This is the long and short of it. It's going to happen. Is I'm making him do it for my birthday, but that doesn't mean it has to be on a specific day. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen eventually mm-hmm. because I do. I, we do it. It's got to be right. So, yeah. But I also feel like um, I was agreed to it if you did something, and I don't. I feel like you're not owning up to your end of the deal. But that's a different story. Different story. I don't remember what I had to do. So, <laughs> um, I'm curious. You you mentioned MDMA. Do you worry at all about fentanyl? Do you t- do you test MDMA? Do you? I mean. Yes, we do test it. Yeah, that is that worry, isn't it? Yeah, we just we just had a big fentanyl bust in our area. Some woman, twenty five hundred pills or something with fentanyl, just got arrested a couple of weeks ago. And you're like, God damn! I don't understand the point of it. Like, you're killing your you're killing your buyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the fentanyl. That's that's no good, no good, no good. But MDMA. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when a- I that's when I haven't tried yet, and I. I but I am worried about the uh, the fentanyl, so I'm like, but someday, someday, before I die. They do sell test kits on Amazon. Yeah. You know? So you can be safe. Yeah, for sure. Well, you gotta be, don't you? You do. I, yeah, I know you do. It's crazy. Any any other branches that you branched out in? I mean, that with uh, that you want to, or you're you're like he's in, he'd like to try that. Are you, is there any other drug that you want to try? Um. In a good setting. Do you, do you have any desire to do ayahuasca? No. I mean, maybe. I mean, I would have to see. Um, I would In the right setting with the right people and all of those things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's another one. You really have to go in with, with good intentions and know why you're doing it. That's not one you just, hey, it's Friday night. Let's do some ayahuasca. I mean, you got you got to have a reason. And have a and have somebody with you that has done it before. Yeah, that experience. That's a serious one right there. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm more of a party girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I knew that when it, when it's sativa, yeah, you're more of the party girl. So. <laughs> so, so when you're doing the mushrooms or anything like that in Mexico, is your husband going along with you or is he not partake, partaking because he's going to, he's watching you or oh. protecting you or, or how's oh, that going? No. Oh gosh. We love to um, experience those things together. Good. We love experience shrooms together. And honestly, some of our best, times together i mean like if you really want to experience true love like take md partner like two of you just and really focus on you and it's not just about like the passion that can happen with that but about like the understanding and the bond that comes with it i mean it's it's life-changing it is seriously life-changing after you do this drug i um we did it like I said, in Mexico at that reggae festival and um, the group of people we did it with, um, they're still really good friends, dear friends, dear, dear friends. We party with them every year. Um, they're part of our lives every day, but he gave it to us and he said, are you ready to change your life? Mm. And I was like, dude, we're just going to party. <laughs> I didn't understand what that meant, um, but it does open up like this, this, the self awareness inside you, it really has for me. Yeah. And kind of, I mean, I'm more aware of who I am and who I want to be. I want to be a kinder, gentler person. I want to be more true and more genuine to myself. And I'm 51 years old and I am living the rest of my life for me. I and love I, it. Yeah. I love it. You said you said kinder and gentler. I can't imagine you ever being unkind or ungentle. <laughs> I mean, unless you're pulling on my beard, obviously, but that's approved. So <laughs> you're you're kind. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's what you come come across as. So that's it's nice to hear that you're even continuing to thrive to be kinder. Which wow. So yeah. what's what's on the horizon for you? I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna say who's the who's the dream collab? Yeah. Besides me, because I'm just I'm just saying. I would love that. <laughs> You're gonna do shrooms. Ah, uh, <laughs> there you go. There's the egg. <laughs> the angle get me in. <laughs> I, th I think that'll do it. <laughs> uh, next on the horizon, I do have um, like I said, I just started offering sexting on my page. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um it's going to be a whole new side of me. I don't think my fans have gotten to see because I your, haven't. Give me one of your hottest sexting lines right now. <laughs> oh, yes. On the spot. Damn you. <laughs> oh. It's not nice. Isn't it? No. Oh. But put anybody on the spot that way. Oh. oh dang. Just text I'm, it to I... me later. <laughs> Let's see. Um, am I, oh, do you want me to squirt for you, Daddy? Oh, that would do it. <laughs> that would do it. That would that do it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. So approved. Let's channel in that just a real quick because some not all girls can. Oh. And is that something you 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 do on on your OnlyFans? Is squirt and then is that something you've always been able to do? No. And sometimes um and I, I, I always say that like, it's, it's not something that I can just do on demand. I know some girls are like very skilled and like, it's like a water fountain. Yeah. Um, mine, I'm just like, um, if it's kind of like uh, everything else, if it's right, if it feels good, it's going to happen. If I'm hitting all those right spots, if it's yeah. Going off, yeah, there is, there is quite a bit of squirting on my page. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That um, I don't want to. I don't like to brag. <laughs> but I'm just. You can. You can. And I only. <laughs> I only said because a lot of girls. You know, a lot of girls. I. It seems like. Um, can't or don't think they can, and I don't know if it's something you can learn or they stop before they're scared and they just stop before it gets that far. So I don't know if there's any tips or tricks. Yes, tips, tricks, or comfort levels you can give to them because. 
maybe um, encountering that now. I, but we need more women squirting. We do. And what do you feel squirt is? What do I feel it is? Goodness. And <laughs> It's is kitty. It... <laughs> yes, kitty. I, I like that because there's always that debate. Is it? Is it? Is it pee? Is it pee? Is cares. it not pee? Is it what? I that. So I don't know. I it, don't know. I don't who cares? Who cares? That's what I, I say. It's goodness. It's fun to do. It feels good to do it. So. What? <laughs> You're so yeah, cute. I have like all these questions. You're like, what? What? I had ten of them going through my head, and I said, "Which one?" She got you flustered. Well, I wanted to. I just kind of like. Were you? uh, I wouldn't say scared at first, but were you? What made you actually break that barrier and be like, "Um, "Yeah, it happened," and I'm comfortable enough to be able to to just release myself? Isn't that kind of what it comes down to? Uh, It was a surprise. I was like, "Whoa!" (laughs) But it felt good, so I wanted to like do that again I wanted to reach that again so and it and it is a lot of yeah just going with it and releasing because it is there is a release with it you definitely do feel like this a release a sensation this overwhelming goodness I feel the girls that can do it love it and go with it and ones that haven't experienced it fight it yeah sometimes sometimes don't fight it. Go with it. Go Thank with, you. There you go. I want to show that clip to some people. We we st- <laughs> I still didn't get your dream collab though. Who's 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 on the list? Who are you? Who are you hoping to work with? Oh gosh, 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 gosh! You guys always put me on the spot like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, la 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 la. All of them. All of them. Yeah. Like I am open. I'm really excited to go to um, this um, fall collab in Denver because there's going to be like 19 new creators there. And a lot of them I haven't met before. I haven't worked with them. I'm, I know I won't get a chance to work with all of them because that's a lot, a lot of people. But I know I'll learn a little bit from each one and it'll you be a could- nice connection with them. If you wanted to mention to that group, if they needed a, a- <laughs> an official podcast of said collab we could travel to denver and interview everybody after their day and just i mean just just, just, just saying how far are you guys from denver about a 16 hour drive we can do it <laughs> we've done we've done it before we've done it before no no we didn't drive to Colorado, we can, we've done but, it before. but we've done that long of a drive <laughs> that's yeah. good to know Definitely work out some details if you guys want to. Yeah, right. yeah you let us know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we would be the proud. Yes, we, we would. No, it's yeah, that would be. I think that would be very good for our podcast is all I'm saying. I, it seems to it seems to if you if we watch Networking. the numbers, our, we seem to do a lot better when we have the pretty ladies on. So I get that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I got to ask, what are you what are you wearing tonight? What are the what are the ears tonight? You know what? These are my backup kitty ears. Uh oh! What happened to the? Goodness! I broke my kitty ears during our cabin collab. <laughs> kind of pretty hard on kitty ears. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have a rose gold. Um, they're beautiful. They're rose gold. They're made in Ukraine, and those are my special, special kitty ears. But I've gone through three pairs of them. I keep losing the right ear. I don't know what's going. on. <laughs> So, uh, I have my backup ones on tonight. Beautiful. Perfect. They're not rose gold, but they are kitty ears. We can't tell from here, but it's <laughs> they look fantastic. <laughs> Rough on them. Oh well, it happens. You yeah, had a, it just says you had a good time. Yes, yes. I think yeah. I rub them. Honestly, <laughs> I, I mean, I can only assume you're having a good time if you break the kitty ears. Yes. I mean. You're not going to break them sitting on the couch by yourself. So yeah. there it is again. Love it. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I think it, yes, there's a good way to, to go. So um, let us know. Let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at kittychristen.com. That is the easiest safest way to find me and all my links to all my platforms 
there's a lot of satur there's a lot of fake kitty christians out there hmm. unfortunately um but know that i don't send messages and i don't ask for things um and i only respond to messages on my vip page and i don't send messages i have to say that because there's so many absolutely people, and i'm sorry your, your time is worth money and uh mm-hmm. it's your business and it should be understandable so you uh you're nice enough to put very very sexy pictures on instagram people should be thrilled with that <laughs> thank you you're very kind i'm yeah. having a I'm, I'm not gonna lie good good we i mean this can be a continued relationship. You let us know when you want to come back on, when you got stuff to promote. You know, you got these big videos coming out. You let us know. We'll Yeah, exit. yeah all we'll, your collaborations. Yeah, for sure. We're looking forward to some more collaborations. Yeah. With some other hot mills. Keep yeah. it going. After Denver, if you guys don't make it there. Um, <laughs> There's going to be some sexiness, some very good kitty goodness coming out of Denver. I can guarantee it. Nice. All we ask is you put in a good word for us. Yeah, that's all. Promise I'll let those girls know. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if we have to, you know, if we have to get you some tank tops to take with you, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Believe me, if if yeah, if you want to take some tank tops to Denver, message me and let me know and we'll we'll hook you up. Those are awesome tank tops. Thank you. Oh soft and nice. And it's a it's a really nice cut. I want to say that it's not like a big old man tank top it's you made that for beautiful women i'm not so, that's so, it so secret little story our first handful of tank tops were looked like they were made for linebackers yeah and we we, we had to talk to our merch guy and be like these need to be different <laughs> we are sending these to the most beautiful women on the planet we don't <laughs> and it's just I don't know if you notice, you don't care, just subtly see through. It's just the perfect <laughs> bit of <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I, I I enjoyed wearing it. And I'm I only wore it for pictures. And now that we've done the podcast, I can wear it a lot more. There so, you go. Awesome. Can't wait to see you in it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We uh we love talking to you. So anytime, let us yeah, know. Yeah, we had a blast. I had a blast. Thank you so much. I had a great time too. Good. I, uh, oops, sorry, we, we missed that last one. I really enjoy you guys. Oh, thank you. We, we we enjoy you as well. This is a lot of fun. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Have fun in Denver. <laughs> meow. One more meow. Meow. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for listening. The tavern is closed for now, but we'd love to have you back for more fun next time. Seriously, though, get your asses out of here.